Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use the Throminator device. For that you need in total 12 ml of ACP divided into 3 ACP syringes, 4 ml per syringe. Furthermore, you need the Thrombinator device, you need a filter, you need a 10 ml syringe and you need two small syringes per syringe, one ml and one female to female adapter. The Trombinator device is a closed system that has glass beads inside and with the help of these glass beads it is very easy and convenient to produce autologous thrombine out of ACP. On top the Trombinator has two insertion points, one for injection of the ACP and the other one for withdrawal of the autologous thrombine. During our first step of thrombine production, we are connecting our ACP syringe to the injection site of the thrombinator. And then we are directly applying 4 ml of the ACP into the thrombinator. Then you take away the ACP syringe. After injection of the 4 ml of ACP, you shake the thrombinator for 5 seconds and then put it back flat on the table with the injection side down. After 10 to 15 minutes or after gelling has occurred, you are ready for the next step. You again connect your other ACP syringes to the trominator to totally inject 8 ml of ACP. And then you have to shake the device again for 5 seconds and let it sit flat again with the injection side down. After one minute, gelling will have occurred and you will break the clot again while shaking the device for five seconds. In the next step, you apply your filter to the withdrawal side. In the next step, you apply your 10 ml syringe to your filter. Turn around the trombinator and withdraw 10 ml of autologous thrombine. In the next step, you transfer 0.5 ml of the autologous thrombine into a smaller syringe and your final product is ready for application.